Cause it's ultra-violence Ultra-violence Hey there sexy, it's Cena Diane Sanchez and welcome back to my channel, how are you? My room is a mess don't even look at it, but like, I'm actually starving, so I'm literally just getting ready to go get Mackey's. Yeah, that's literally what I'm about to do. I don't know what was the last thing you saw of me, but my camera, do you remember? I don't know if you saw, like, my last couple of videos. I was complaining about my camera, like, being a bit weird. The Sony here. Sony's DV1. Um, it broke. It fully broke, so I'm back on my Canon G7X. The first one, like Mark 1, like original. I mean, I guess it's like a downgrade of quality and a downgrade of sound because you can probably really, really hear the fan that I have going on, but without the fan, I couldn't film. Because it's fucking boiling. So I thought, why not give you guys like a cheeky little story time like of the things that have been going on in my life. Honestly, something is going on with my skin. Don't know what it is. I had eczema, uh, like derma... I don't know how you say that word, like eczema on my thighs, like inner thighs and ass cheeks. Then it faded, then it went to my face, like I had it all over here. Like it's been a rough two weeks. I had it all over my face and mustache area. Then it faded and went back to my ass, like around the asshole area, to the point where I had to go to the doctor to get a different cream. Sort it now, but tell me now why I have like a red dot there. You see it? This came up today. And you know what else came up today? If you look at the corners of my mouth, that there it's so painful and like i've had that before when i had a black boyfriend if you know you know you know considering i haven't actually done anything with anyone for a while where is this coming from because i don't know if there's a ghost and he's kind of sexy he should at least wake me the fuck up you know i will tell you what i'm using while i'm doing it just so you get a bit of a tutorial slash story time so zero v um, facial moisturizing lotion with SPF 30. So, girly, I'm not gonna say this is old news, but this is also like not fresh. I was seeing this one guy. I kind of gave it a go. You know why? Because I have had like the last experiences that I have had with guys like my age have been terrible. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give like an older man. I say older man. I'm 26, almost 27, and this guy was 38. So just 10 years. I've I've done older before. When I was 19, I was hooking up with a 45 year old. So, yeah. So yeah, like I was like, fuck it, I'll give this guy a chance. He seems cute, he's been after me for such a long time now. Like, the DMs are crazy. So I was like, fuck it, I'll give him a go. He seems fun. He was definitely handsome, super fit, like he works out and takes care of himself. So I was like, you know what, let's just give him a go and see what happens. CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. Now I'm gonna go in with a She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. For foundation, She Glam Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation in the shade Sand. It's definitely a little bit too orange for me. That's okay, we'll make it work. I'm actually gonna use a brush so it's easier to work with. I don't know why, I feel like it depends. I do like using a beauty blender and it does diffuse the product a little bit better. First of all, I think I need a little bit more coverage in certain areas and the beauty blender just soaks the product in so it gives you more like a natural finish, which I will like natural here, I don't like natural here. So you know, and also my beauty blenders, like my sponges are all full of my cat hair and it will take me 35 um, days to get the hair off the sponges. So I'm not gonna do that. And then I complain that when I set it, there's hair underneath the foundation, like inside of the foundation, if you know what I mean, like after it's set, and I'm there like digging through my foundation to find hairs. Fuck that, not doing that today. Fuck you, kitty. Where is he? Don't know. Um, no, I love him. But yeah, so I was dating this man. Well, I went on a date, I was dating, bless. I went on a date with him. The date wasn't horrible. Like we just chilled. It was like, it was late. It was a late date, which I should have cast as like a red flag, but I think we had like a 10 p.m. date and we literally just went for ice cream. It was like a night, like we both have had dinner already. We were, I was literally tucked in bed already. And he was like, you know what? Like I really fancy a McFlurry. I know you like them too. And I was like, fuck it. You know, I'm fat, give it to me. He drove, we went to McDonald's, we had a McFlurry. Um, he ended up having more than a McFlurry. He ended up having like a Mac chicken, 
and I realized that I don't like the way this guy chews his food. So there was two red flags already in like the first night and you you probably think, Dina, well, you know, you've been a hoe, like you've dated around before, so nowadays you're a grown woman and you know when to stop. If you catch a couple of red flags in the beginning, then better just to call it quits, right? And you're probably thinking, is that what you did? No. No, I was like, well, I think I was just entertaining it, honestly, like dead ass, honestly. I think I was just bored. You know, I recently finished one thing that was like pretty serious to me in my head and then another thing that was going on with like a crush. I have so many story times to tell you guys. Like if you care, let me know. Um, so I was just like giving in to whatever. And you know, the way he chewed was horrible. He chewed, he, I was like, if, he, if this dude eats ass the way he chews his burger, scary. But probably amazing. So, you know, I entertained a little bit more. Conversation flowed. It was okay. He seemed like a smart guy. I will be honest. We barely spoke about me. I know it's red flag after red flag, but like we barely, absolutely barely, like maybe two words about me were said that I was hot. <laughs> like nothing else. Like he didn't make any comments about me. He just said that. Oh my God, look at my contact. He just said, um, that yeah, that he was pleased that I was as hot as I was, as I was on Instagram. He said even hotter. He was like, oh my god, you have freckles. I didn't realize that you have freckles. Like, that is so, so hot. And I was like, oh, thanks. But, like, there was nothing going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, we didn't speak about me or he didn't ask me any questions. It's actually quite cringy, to be honest. We literally just spoke for, like, half an hour in his car. So... It was chill. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in the shade C6. He, he waited until I got in the house and stuff. He drove away and then as soon as I literally got into my bedroom, he texted me. Oh my God, you're so like attractive and you're such a nice, sweet girl. I wish I would have kissed you. And you know, those are like the dark hours. Like that was like what, 11 or 12? So I was down for it. Could you judge me? Can you judge a little girl? Like, I was horny, it was late, I might as well give him a kiss, and I was like, well, I would have, and he was like, really, I'm still, like, I'm, I'm still nearby, and I was like, okay, so he came back, and we literally just snogged, like, we made out for, like, five minutes, and I was like, listen, this is too much, like, I gotta go, I don't wanna fuck right here now, um, or I don't wanna fuck at all, I just wanted a little kiss, just wanted a little bit of attention, to be honest, and he wasn't a good kisser, not, like, amazing. Oh my god, I'm really like ditching this guy, but like I still went back. His kisses weren't amazing, they were like sloppy. Ugh, sorry. But it's the truth, like sloppy kisses, I'm not into. Some people love a bit of dribble here and there. I don't. I like tongue, yeah, but like if there is like literally like saliva dripping down my chin, no. If I have to dry off like my like my fucking double chin when I'm done making out with you, it's a no-go for me. That's a yes for a lot of people. It's a no from me. Nuh-uh. Why are you hooking up with my chin? No. Maybe he's turned on by it or something. I don't know. Don't really give a fuck. I still have dry patches in my under eye from my asthma. So, you know, I'm not expecting perfection over here. And I like to blend it until there's no powder left. Or that it seems, you know, like until... There's not like the terrible casts of powder there. I know in the camera it looks like it is a cast, but in real life it's like pretty much none. And then with a bigger brush like this one, I will just do the same like, powder, but like everywhere. The powder is also by She Glam. She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eyes and Powder Duo in the shade Translucent. Translucent. Just for a bit, like a tiny bit of extra coverage, I will go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in this shade, NC42. Honolulu Silhouette Palette Bronze and Contour by W7, okay? I will be using this shade to highlight, this shade to contour, just so you know, the first two. I ended up meeting him again. I know, shocker, right? <laughs> I ended up meeting him again. He uh, picked me up once again from McDonald's. 
Like we went we went to a McDonald's drive through, we got a few things and he was like I really wanna I really want you to like see the sunset, like watch the sunset with me. I think that's super cute and I know you like sunsets and whatever. Like it's annoying because I feel like he didn't ask many things about me because he already followed me, you know? Like he was not a fan, but like he followed my stuff and he had been following for a while. So he knew more about me than he should have, if you know what I mean. He already knew what I liked, he already knew like my Pokemon and like what my favorite Pokemon wants. Fun fact, he was also a Pokemon fan, which I love, you know, like being 38 and like admitting that you're into Pokemon is like, yes, bitch, turn me the fuck on. I wasn't questioning so much that he wasn't really interested in asking questions because I assumed that he knew a lot of me because he followed me for so long. Was I wrong? Yes. We get the food, he gets his fucking mac chicken that he doesn't even know how to fucking chew. I get, um, I got, oh, I was so silly. Like, my favorite, oh my god, this is gonna make me starve right now. My favorite McDonald's order is the double, like, grand extreme bacon double. Double grand extreme bacon, I don't know how you call it. <sighs> that, like, double with like ex extra, like a lot of like the bacon sauce and then regular fries or if you can like the bacon, cheese and bacon fries if I feel like it's too much bacon then I would get the shaker like the onion shaker fries um, but I normally go with regular large coke, large fries sometimes I'll do four nuggets and four wings but recently I do six nuggets, buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce and a McFlurry, like Oreo McFlurry. That is my dream go-to McDonald's order. That sounds absolutely unreal and amazing to me. But because I was with Guy, I know, silly me, I got a one euro cheeseburger, like the tiny cheeseburger. I got four chicken nuggets and a small coat. Yes, ma'am, you heard me right. That's what I freaking ordered, me, Dina Dian Sanchez tiny little McDonald's order. Can you believe it? Cause I can't. He had a camper van and it was so cute because it was like a yellow camper van because he likes Pikachu. And I'm like, oh, I love how I just gave that away. Like anyone who's watching who knows him, expose me if you want to, don't care. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Love Dive Dump Pink Twice by Sheet Lamb again. Oh my God. Broken. Shut the fuck up. No, it's my favorite blush. Can you see it? It's like lifted from there. No, dude. Right. Let's be gentle with it. Watch me like fully drop it in the floor now. We watch the sunset. It's like pretty cute. I have my nuggets. And we were talking. When I tell you, we were we had a conversation about cats because he was like, so you have this tattoo, what else? And I showed him that like, I have a tattoo of my cat, like my cat's name, like my cat's initials, basically. If you don't know, I have this tattooed. And it says Pedete, P-D-T. That's my cat's name, Pedete. So we were talking, then he showed me that like his whole arm was like his cat, like an actual, like his cat was tattooed there, his cat's face. And he was in love with him, and like his cat has like 15 years, yada yada yada. We were talking like, you know, like, oh that's so cute, whatever. And he was like, what type of cat you have? And I'm like, oh it's this one. It's a Persian, you know, the one with a squishy face. And he was like, oh that's so cute, I've heard they're super smart. I'm like, yes they are. It was going kind of well. He did try to kiss me like once or twice in between the conversation, and I'm like, honey, let the girl have her nugget. I feel like I need... A little bit more like like an oomph to it so I'm gonna go into the Rachel Leary palette it's like so old and dusty now and crusty I've literally used this like daily especially for the blush because it's got a little bit of highlight in it oh my god I'm so blushed up but I don't care I love a bit of blush and I think I'm gonna use do you know what? I think I'm actually gonna go in very old, super old school Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Dark Glow, yeah. 
And I'm gonna go with Dripping in Gold. This one here. I never do this. Never do this. I'm gonna put this on my eyelid. You know, summery, a little bit of sparkle. So yeah, sorry. We were talking for ages. Like literally, I'd say we were talking like 45 minutes to an hour about his cat, my cat. We're cat lovers. I am a cat lover and I love to run. This is the, um, which one is this? Maybelline Last Sensational Full Fan Effect. This mascara I swear by. As the sun goes down, finished our meal, whatever. Telling me about like his 15 year old cat and this and that. He goes, so tell me, what about you? Do you have any pets? Are you for real? Like honestly, I was shocked. Shook it, if you will. I thought maybe he was playing me or that he had like a something in his brain or maybe like Alzheimer or something. So I tell him, I'm like, hey, we've literally been talking about my cat for like half an hour. Essence eight hour matte comfort lip liner in the shade. Oh, dude, I don't know. I was like, are you serious? We've just been talking about my pussy. So he literally goes to me, right? I, after I tell him, like, listen, we've literally been talking about it for, like, half an hour. He goes, oh, shit, yeah. The whole tattoo and everything, right? I'm like, well, yeah. That was the whole conversation that we were having about your cat and my cat. And he goes, oh, sorry, do you know what? You probably think I'm a jerk for not listening. Oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. I was like, no, it's fine. He goes, do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I was just trying not to look at your tits. Right, sir, because that makes you um, 10 times less of a jerk than just not listening point blank. You should have just said something else. You should have just said like, oh yeah, sorry, I'm deaf. I'm deaf. Or something else. Not that you were just trying not to stare at my tits. That's pathetic. Well, different outfit and super ready. I should spray a little. Even though, you know what, I'm going off setting sprays. Don't know if I don't like them, if I don't trust them. I don't know, but I'm, I've kind of gone off them. For the sake of YouTube. And this is the look, this is the vibe. Like, when you saw me apply on my lips, is the Coralie Sculpture Balm. It's really good for your lips, especially if you've had filler. And about the guy, I don't know. I just told him I didn't want to see him again after that. Like, he was just really weird, too touchy-feely. He definitely wanted to get things going for his downstairs. Like, he just wanted the whole tea girl experience. And I was just not giving him the fantasy or the time of day. Like, what's the point of having me talk for half an hour if you're not even gonna listen? and just try not to look at my tatas. Just pathetic, and it really showed me that it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter at all what age, because I was like, you know what, I'm done with guys. I'm done with boys. Now I'm going on to men. Fuck it, they're all the same. I've done 19 year olds, and I've done 45 year olds, and they're all the same up here. So I am done, absolutely. Done. And that's my cheeky little story time. Let me know if you like story times from me and I'll give you another one. I have two really good ones that did really well on my Spanish channel that I could bring to this one too. Let me know if you're interested. And I hope you like the little cute girl going to McDonald's because she's starving makeup look. Love you and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, especially, to stay sexy. Bye!